Ah, intern, good morning! You may find yourself asking yourself, Siri, what is this chaotic nonsense that's in the elephant exhibit? Well, I'm hoping it is a usable sky tram. So far, it looks pretty awesome. I'm lying. So far, it looks like a complete mess, like a bunch of telephone poles just kind of got slammed down by some sort of, like, demented utility man, and it looks like nowhere where our elephants can really be free to roam, and they're just gonna bump into this and be like, I want to drink my water, but I can't because this thing is in my way, and what is this thing, and why is there a person going over my head? So I don't know if this is going to work out. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. We are gonna give it a try. So we'll put down all of the plants. We're gonna be planting our rainforest today. And actually, I will show you where the Sky Tram tour takes you as well. And then we'll bring the, the path over, try to get some people interested in this area. In fact, let's go ahead and put down some endangered window fences so that people can see what's going on over here. And then we'll do that. I mean, there's nothing in here yet, but we wanna get it ready so people can see the elephants and kind of get to know, get to know them, get to know what's going on. Really, with elephants especially, as long-lived as they are, you want people to really develop quite the bond with them, to feel like they know those elephants personally, and hopefully, as a result, they will want to make sure that not only them, but their cousins in the wild will uh, take be very well taken care of. So let's do that. Lots and lots of places for people to view things. Also, I think I saw... Okay, we've got a really hungry, really thirsty panther chameleon. What is going on over here? because we should have everything working out fine in the panther chameleon area. All right, what's going on? Hello, hello. You've gotten the food and water. I think you were just stuck. All right, and somebody else was having a huge, Lele is really hungry. Lele, where are you? Okay, she's resting in the hollow tree shelter. She's full now. I don't know what was up with Lele. I hear the cranes. Lele, did they throw too many feeder balls in your house? Is that your problem? All right, Panther Chameleon 2. 7 is really hungry, I mean. Are you getting some food? Ambushing? What? Okay, hang on. We might have two males who are not getting along. Yeah. Panther Chameleon 7 is trying to attack Panther Chameleon 5, who is his father. So he's being very territorial. So we're going to go ahead and adopt him out. And we're going to get another female in here so that Panther Chameleon 5 is not alone. No, we're not putting the elephant in there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Chameleon, panther, female. There we go. And voila. That's all oh, That's all we needed to do. That's all we needed to do. Now we're going to come over here in turn, and we are going to plant a rainforest. But first things first, I will show you where this path leads. And let me go ahead and get a path back here. Just in case people want to start using the Sky Tram before everything's officially put in. I probably would totally be one of those people if the zoo said, Hey, we haven't opened the exhibits yet, but you can get a sneak peek of what it'll look like if you come and visit it now. I would have been there in a heartbeat. I would have been like, Oh, let me see, let me see. I would be there like every week and I would want to watch as the exhibit is being built and as they add in like new new pieces of construction work and I would want to celebrate like, oh look at that, the animals will be so inspired when they're able to like, well inspired is probably the wrong word. <laughs> the animals will be so happy when they're able to rest under that spot or yay or wow we really need to raise more donations so that we can improve this spot. That would have been me in turn, 110%. <gasps> and Nala is going to give birth to a tiger cub. All right, there we go. All right, that path's down. Nala, are you giving birth right now? Let's watch. Let's watch Nolly give birth. She's sneaking behind into the bamboo. Oh, these would be perfect to put all over the exhibit. See, I knew coming over here was a good idea. All right, you are coming into a really interesting area. Nala is a shy, shy mama cat. She's like the mama cat who tries to climb under your bed to get the kittens, like birth the kittens. All right, Nala. Okay, you brought him to the feeder ball. I can't see you, Nala, but I see the feeder. Baby? Babies? Nala, congratulations! I think you had one baby! Congrats! You're dead! You're dead, Denali! Chichu babies, yes! Alright. So let's check on them. Are they male or female? This one's a female, so I'm going to name her Nala the second. And then we've got one more. Is it a male or female? It's another female, so I'm going to name her Kala. There we go. All right, we'll see who seems to settle into life here better. Man, I still love their exhibit. Isn't it fantastic? Freya is really thirsty. What's going on with our um, 
Our pandas over here. They seem to be having a lot of issues getting enough to eat and drink yet lately. I'm trying to work over with the <laughs> the Asian forest elephants now, guys. This is come on. Easy go, easy does it, easy does it, pandas. Alright, so actually, yeah, bamboo would be probably a pretty good thing to do. Um, the elephant ear trees. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because it's the elephant exhibit. Ha ha ha, I know, right? Alright, so let's try putting in some of these guys, maybe. Just a few. Especially where people might kind of brush up against them. I always thought that would be fun to like touch the leaves while you're on a sky tram. Just be like, wow, look at that. I've seen a few sky trams in uh, various zoos. I just have never been on one because I was too young the last time I saw a sky tram. I was too young to go on it. And now I am mortifly, like mortifly, what? I am completely, uh, Terrified of heights is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say with mortifly, but basically so freaked out I can't speak properly when it comes to heights. So that's probably never going to happen and that's fine. Alright, now we're going to do some elephant ear trees. And we're going to avoid, or maybe not, I think the elephant ear trees are actually causing problems. Look at that. Interesting. Alright, well we'll come over here. Freya! Why are you still really thirsty? All right, Freya, what's going on? Let's have a chat. Your water is on this side. There is water right there. Is she gonna drink it? Do we need to add another water spot? Freya, where are you going? To drink water. There's no water over here, honey. I guess I'll have to just put some down. There, hopefully that'll help. All right. Unable to reach the food object. Okay, let's move it a little bit. There we go. Maybe that'll help them out. Sometimes they just need the extra water so that they can have some more nutrients and everything as well. Also, anyone using- <gasps> The splash fountain has a little rainbow! Did you see that, intern? I saw the rainbow! I saw the rainbow! It has a little rainbow right there. It's so hard to see, but there it is! Oh, I love that! It's an awesome rainbow! Oh, that's fantastic! That makes me very happy. Alright, so we'll see about putting a few more elephant ear trees in where they won't cause any problems and hopefully the elephants can walk around them okay. Oh my gosh, we really are planting pretty much an entire rainforest today. So this should be very exciting. Oh, hopefully the elephants will be able to get through everything okay. We might try some other trees as well because these ones are being fussy about the sky tram. Yeah, we might try some other trees in just a minute just to see if we can get more greenery along the back. So, okay, come on, elephant ear trees, don't be shy. You can come over here, can't you? No? All right. What about over here? All right, and Red Panda 7 is now pregnant. They are not wasting time. When they figure it out, those pandas, my gosh, they're really working on it. All right, yeah, we'll put a lot of elephant ear trees back here because we shouldn't have too much interference. And I think that it would be good to have like a thick forest spot. There we go. Where they can just feel like, oh, I can just kind of dive into the shadows and the humans won't be able to see me or bother me. All right, there we go. Red Panda 6 is now pregnant, wonderful. All right, any other interesting trees we might be able to use for the tropical rainforest area? Let's check. Tropical Rainforest. There we go. All right. Well, yep, yeah, that's the elephant ear treat. We tried that one. Tried that one. Thank you. Madagascar giant bamboo. So cool. I just can't see myself using it, which is so, it's a little awkward. It's like, yeah, you're awesome. I just, I can't quite figure out where I would put you. So I'm going to have to pass it up. All right. What else? Was it these guys? No, those are like Jakarta Brazil trees. Where the heck did this thing come from then? Oh, oh, okay. Let's just look at trees like this. Now there's bamboo, which I think would be important to have at least a couple of things of bamboo scattered around. But we'll work, we might work with a different species of bamboo. I'm really worried about them not being able to like have enough space to roam around. So I'm trying to be very careful. Like big old burr oaks, but that is not a tree that you would find in Asia. Elephant ear tree. What the heck are you? What is this? Is that a cactus? I think it's a cactus. Well, that's interesting. We found that. Okay. 
Gager tree, common fig tree. Fig trees are really a great source of food for a lot of animals. Woo, there's a boboa. Absolutely love those guys. And K-pop tree, awesome, but they cause some issues with us. Okay, we've got these little trees, which are pretty cute. They'll work in a pinch, because they're they're more just meant to Oh yes, Lelia is now Myla Lelia is now pregnant. Yay, there we go. Sorry, intern, I'm so excited today. I am just tripping over my words because oh, this is gonna happen. There we go. Uh, probably need to remove at least a couple of these. <laughs> I'm getting a little over eager with the, the foliage when we still need to make sure that the elephants can work their way through it. All right, we'll come along here. And put a few down here. There we go. And there. Yeah, see these just act like a really great mid-level cover. So I want to come down here. Yes, now they're giving me the sense that this is becoming a forest. My goodness, and I think the elephants can push their way through these no problem. They're not going to block them whatsoever. There, see a beautiful forest for our elephants. Alright, a few more over here. And a few more over there. There we go. And some more back here. And over here. Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I had no idea it would come together so well. These little guys are amazing. Let's spread some down here too. Wonderful. I just really hope the elephants can just walk right through these because that would be fantastic. Because they're huge. All right, and then let's we'll see. Put a little community of them down here. And a couple more over here. And back here. There we go. There we are. Wonderful. Well, I'm really happy with this. Oh my gosh. So much forest. So much forest. Phew. All right, let's jump down, see how it looks. <gasps> it looks beautiful. I love it. I love it. And Freya is giving birth again. Oh yeah. And they'll be able to walk through here. Good. They'll be able to look around. They'll be able to munch on things. They'll be able to lift their logs. So now, in turn, I think the only thing we really need is to cover this area in some underbrush. Whoops. So let me think. Hmm. All right, I've got it, in turn. All we need to do now is just put down a bunch of ground cover, and I think we should be able to pull that off without too much trouble. I don't want to put down too much, though. Like, I don't want to spend forever and ever on it, but... Hmm. Let's see. What would work? What would work? What's something we've used quite a bit of and yet... Aha! This guy, the small jungle palm. Wouldn't it just be perfect lined up against the back of the exhibits? All right, in fact, let's get down here. All right, we're gonna get right down here and voila. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize the girls weren't already full size. Oh my goodness gracious, let's go watch that. And why are you in the corner, little one? What's going on over here, huh? You didn't need the other one, did you? There you go, clean her up. Where's the other one? There's some poop I gotta go scoop. Hi, sweetheart. So you're about to grow to full size? I didn't know that we got a juvenile. Oh, that's so exciting. Except when we're in the water with it. Let's get out of the water. That's not so exciting. Oh my gosh, like, ooh, goosebumps. All right, where's the other one? Oh, oh, there they are, there they are. Look at them do the little tail slaps and bobs, letting each other know who's who and what's what. Good, good. You'll be able to reach this food dish, don't worry. Come on out of the water and you can manage. We might want to move a tree, though. I think moving that tree might help. Alright, good. So the ladies seem like they're doing fine in their swamp. That is so cool. And there are our clouded leopards. Oh, Clouds of Leopard 3 has already grown up. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. We'll leave the family group in here for a little bit longer, just in case the Clouded Leopard cubs are still learning something from their parents about hunting and how to be a leopard. Ooh, and now we've got the medium jungle palms. Oh, and look, there goes a sky tram. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I think we'll sprinkle some of the medium jungle palms just kind of in the back here. But I really, I don't want to put too many more plants down because I really want our elephants 
to be able to see where the heck they're going <laughs> and to be able to see them. But we will sprinkle a few patches of flowers here and there. Again, don't forget, when we put down these plants, it's not just for ourselves, but it's often also for the animal's enrichment so that they have something new to smell, different textures to feel. It's so important to make sure that no matter who you are or what you have, you are always providing more avenues for enrichment for any, any animals in your care or even for yourself in turn. You know when they say you get cabin fever when you get stuck in the same house for a long time and it drives so many people batty? That's the lack of enrichment. You want to keep a lot of variety and enrichment in your life because it will help keep your brain nice and healthy, it will help you from being bored. So it's really important to their, like have variety. And I'm someone who hates change, so when I say it, you know that like it's really important or else I wouldn't even bother, bother with it because I don't like change. But it's good for us. Alright, so we'll put some over there kind of patch meal in places but we'll fill it in as time goes on with more detailed plants like more little clusters of certain types of plants all right so I think this is good there we go oh look at how pretty they are good all right I'm gonna put a few more down I kind of want it so that when you turn around no matter where you are you've got a good oh black stark forest died of old age we'll have to get some more sorks soon they don't live very long they don't live very long, and that's okay, I guess. Because some animals just don't, but it's sad. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I just want it so when you turn around, there's like different shapes of leaves, different textures of leaves to kind of break it all up so it's not the same thing that you're looking at everywhere. One oh, Red Panda 7 just passed away of old age. What a day. Alright, so let's see. Any particular little plants you think? Oh, see, there's some daisies. What I think would be really fun, here's some more daisies, is actually to put down some of the scented plants. So some of the lavender, some of the cilantro and other plants that we have that wouldn't really be in this jungle, but they would be wonderful for stimulation for the elephants. So they would have something different to smell, s smell and play with and rub their trunk on and try out. But nothing like fox club that could be poisonous. We don't want to do that to them. Horsetails, common heather, gorse bush. All right, steppy grass. Some little, like, could do some jungle lily flowers. A nice classic jungle lily flowers. All right, there we go. Yeah, little, like I said, as time goes on, we'll spread more patches of various plants around. Here's a juniper. That would definitely have a distinct smell to it. Uh, let's see. Labrador tea. Here's a lady fern. Here's some royal ferns. Here we go. So some little lavender. I just feel like it would be nice to be able to give them like a little cluster of lavender to smell. And it can just be something different for them. And no lily of the valley because again that's that tends to be a poisonous plant if ingested. So no lily of the valley but you know just a little bit of lavender. Nothing, nothing overly fancy. But a little bit of lavender, uh, actually in a couple places might be nice. So let's come down here. Just to have some variety. This is this is just kind of to hide it in places and be like, hey guys, what's this? Come smell it. Come try it out. What do you think? Oh, Clouded Leopard 2 is going to give birth again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, we should definitely go watch. All right, let's take a quick break and turn. This is important, and like I just said, uh, let's actually get her older children out of here. So we're going to release these two to the wild, because if she is giving birth, that means that we need to make space for the new cubs. So we are releasing those guys to the wild. Oh, it's going to be noisy, noisy helicopters. Look at that. Look at you guys. So noisy. Noisy helicopters. They're picking up the package. Dun, 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 dun. Off you go. Shoo, shoo. Get out of here. Oh, I missed the birth. I was so distracted by the helicopters. Oh, I think I just kicked the feeder ball into the kitten. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. She had two of them again. I think she had two babies. There's one. There's two. Man, they look so weird in our zoo when they're born like this. Normally, they don't look like that, but we won't focus on that fact. But there we go. So, oh, that's so exciting. More babies. More babies. All right. And we're getting ready to add in all sorts of animals, not just the elephants, to this huge forest that we're building for them. Let's go ahead and put down some zookeeper fences. Uh, in fact, we could probably put zookeeper fences so that zookeepers can get in on all the sides. Look at how fancy we can get. Look at this. You're like, boom, zookeeper fence. Boom, zookeeper fence. Zookeeper fence. 
Zookeeper fence. And zookeeper fence. And zookeeper fence. Boom. Zookeeper fence is everywhere. And finally, let's go ahead. Oh, okay. Whoop. Okay. Camel about to die of old age. We keep hearing that you're about to reach your full size, ma'am. So good luck to that. And somebody can't reach bamboo. We will help them tomorrow. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to make a path. All right, all the way through. Keeper Stewart. I read that as Kristen Stewart cannot reach the panda. And I was like, why is Kristen Stewart here? Very surreal. I didn't know we were having celebrity guests. Whoops. All right. Got to be a little more gentle with this. There we go, intern. I know I am just as excited as you are. But we need to be careful as we put the path down. So that our guests can see everything without making a huge mess of where we're going. There we go. Man, just imagine all the other stuff we're going to have to build over here. <laughs> but that will be in the eventuality. For now, we're just going to build this. Nice little sky tram. We've got the chairs on both sides now. And we're going to get the paths on both sides. There we go. Here we go. Wonderful. And here we go. Good, good, good. And finally, this way. And down here. And over here. There. Wonderful. Oh, Entering. The worst of the work is over. Also, let's buy a few more of these chairs. Just so that if people do want to come by and happen to ride in our Sky Tram, we now have it available. Oh, look, and I didn't know it, but you can, like, change the directions. Circuit B and Circuit A. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe that has something to do with something. All right, another selected vehicle and another one. We're going to send these out so that if people want to come, they can enjoy our Sky Tram. Whew! All right! Man, that's exhausting. There we go, intern. So all of that work is done, and now all we have to do is come in early tomorrow morning and unleash the elephants. I'll see you then, intern. Bye-bye!